For those of you who are keeping track, I've made a change to the plan for the kitchen. I have taken this bulkhead into account, so I dropped all of the cabinetry so that it would come in at about an inch underneath the bulkhead, which is I, I think is pretty standard, actually. Most cabinetry doesn't extend all the way to the ceiling. For me, I'm just concerned about how imposing cabinetry that height would be. There's another bulkhead on this side, which I have yet to measure up and put into the plan. So probably this and this cabinet will drop as well. This one, I'm not sure. I, I, for whatever reason, I kind of like the idea of having it extend all the way to the ceiling, but we'll just see. The other thing is once I put this center cabinet here in and I made it the same depth as the microwave cabinet or the stove surround, I started wondering about this. It's really, really deep and even at 6'3", I'm not sure that I can reach the back of this thing. So historically, what I've seen is a cabinet of normal depth that gets pushed to the front. Normal humans can actually reach the back of it. With that in mind, I came up with this version where the entire set of uppers is a consistent depth. Whereas here, the broom closet extends all the way up here it's it's capped flush with the top of the fritz around and then the single cabinet at the top kind of ties them together so the only thing now is to measure out the bulkhead that sits on this side and probably shrink these cabinets to accommodate that and when that's done i flatten everything into cut lists and i start building cabinetry i'll probably start in this corner and get the entire second wall complete and then come back to do the uppers on this side. I really wish that I had purchased all the plywood for this back when I was purchasing all the plywood. I've got three sheets left of the, the maple. I'm sure I'm still saving money over buying retail, but it's hard to believe that I'm saving anything at all. So then when, when the cabinetry is finished, I guess that's, that's a big deal. And then I can get on with flooring.